What's up guys, Danielle here, NeutralSupport.net, bringing you another tool short. Today I'm going to talk about Shimano's new bleed cup. Cheers! Ah! So let's just start out by saying, always read the manual. So these are the bleed cups. On the left, we have the original Mountain Bleed Cup, the original Road Bleed Cup, the new Road Bleed Cup, and the new Mountain Bleed Cup. Now let's start with the obvious. This is not a cup. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. What we had to do with this system is actually screw this piece onto the Mountain Bleed Cup to make it compatible with the road levers. This caused kind of problems. You had two options. You could either disengage the cup from the adapter while it was on the shifter, which essentially left fluid in this piece that would then evacuate onto the shifter. The other choice was to actually remove the funnel with the adapter so you could plunger it. Hypothetically, the fluid would not leave if you put the plunger in. So you unscrew it from the road shifter. Then you're met with a new problem you can't set it down. It didn't fit in the cup holder. So you end up having to do this dance with the fluids. In the new iteration, they actually created two unique cups. So one is the road cup that has the same connector as this adapter. So you can actually just screw the cup in and use the plunger and have a simple system. The other is the mountain cup that has the same threading as the old one, but a little bit different end here probably to increase the flow of the fluid. If you look, the old cup actually only had one hole through the end, and now they have this sort of three spaces. So, second thing, obvious, volume. So they've increased the volume of these cups dramatically. Is it any louder? Well, it's one louder, isn't it? So if you look at these two side by side, you have a lot more room to push fluid to the front. If you bleed enough Shimano brakes, you end up doing the angling the handlebars thing and having more space in the cup is always going to be a good thing for that. The other piece that they created to help with that are these rubber gaskets that fit in the top. So it has this lip all the way around so that when you're tilting the shifter, the fluid has a place to stop instead of just dumping out of the edge. So that's cool. So two gaskets, one on each. The other thing that they redesigned, which you'd think would be an afterthought, the plunger. So if you look at this, it was kind of like pulling a little, like pulling a hair out. It was very small, hard to grab onto. You can see that over time, mine got really bent up just trying to pull it out. They made this plunger longer for the bigger cup. They also created a handle here so that you can grab onto something while you're pulling it out. It's actually really nice. I wouldn't have thought about updating the plunger myself, so bravo Shimano, they actually did. The last bit is it has actual space for these to cradle in their cup holders. So the old one sat in there as long as you didn't have the adapter. The new ones both sit into the cradle all the way so you can put the plunger in, remove the cup, and set it down and worry about where you're gonna put the fluid later. Now let's take a look at these funnels on some brakes. So here we have a road funnel installed directly onto a GRX lever here. You can see that it fits nicely, threads right in, pretty stable, not actually going anywhere. One of the other challenges when using the adapter previously was that when you screwed this on, the adapter and the cup didn't interact exactly right. So occasionally you'd be screwing it in and things would start spinning. The plastic threads on the cup and the plastic threads in the adapter just wouldn't mesh up quite right. So that was another challenge. This created a whole framework so you don't have to worry about that. It threads right in, stays there. You can see that you're gonna have a lot of ability to tilt based on the volume of the cup. The fluid won't have anywhere to escape while you're doing that. And you really shouldn't have to push that much fluid through the system. And here we have the mountain cup. So same principle, larger volume here. So you have more room to tilt. Connector is connected just like the old cup. If you look at the old cup next to it, you can see the difference. So much smaller. And if you look, the connection here was much closer to the cup. So you were actually tightening these little wings onto the lever. So they've extended the tube here so that you don't contact the brake with the actual cup. 
which makes it easier to thread on and also keeps these threads from getting damaged. So this video was primarily focused on the bleed cups, but Shimano also changed their syringe. So if you got the entire professional disc brake bleed kit, it comes with a higher volume syringe. The hose actually threads on instead of pressing on, and they added this guide pin to the end. So when you're attaching to the caliper, you actually have a little bit more purchase and it inserts so the hose is less likely to fly off. It helps keep the hose attached to the caliper where it belongs and helps keep the fluid going inside and not all over the outside of the brake. So good changes. If you happen to need the whole bleed kit or you don't have a Shimano syringe that you're happy with, this one's actually very good. So thank you for watching this tool short. Hope you liked it. If you did, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification button, like the video, comment below if I missed something, if you disagree with me. Like I said, I always like it when you guys disagree with me. Head over to neutralsupport.net to check out some other cool stuff. You could buy a sweet apron, you could buy a sweet hat, other cool swag, help me pay to make the videos. But if not, I just hope you enjoy them. Hope you have a good day.